guys here we are today with a new topic and if you are having or using a reference gpu which is from amd or nvidia which is having a blower design of fans so you may be facing some issues if your card is out of warranty it is heating up a lot and it is crashing while playing games then this video might be helpful for you because we are going to open this card and do something which may cool down your card a little bit so let's check this card i'm having a reference card which is rx480 from amd and let's check it what are the temperatures currently and due to the temperatures the system is crashing so let's see it i'm trying to play some game So the game has started and it's going around 91 and dead. We'll open up the card and try to add some thermal paste on our GPU and then we'll check it again whether the temperature goes down or not. Can we play this game or not? But my caution is if your card is out of warranty then and then only you should do this. Otherwise your warranty will be void. So if you're having a reference design card and it is heating up and even if you are having any other card which is not a reference design and even that is heating up you can apply this technique you just have to apply a new thermal paste actually what happens is over a period of time your thermal paste gets dried up and it stops working so we'll apply a new thermal paste and then we'll check it out whether it works or not so let's get started So friends, we are opening this card. For this, we need a screwdriver as per the things and this secret ingredient, which is a thermal paste. This is a Master Gel Pro from Cooler Master. And you need a toothbrush to clean some dust because it's an old card. So lots of dust must have been accumulated. And this is the sticker and we are going to open this up. And once we open it, our warranty is going to be void so it is already out of warranty card so not an issue a very tiny component so be careful that your screwdriver don't scratch any of them otherwise if even a single component goes missing from the circuit board you might fuck up your card so there are tiny screws here also i'll be opening it yeah so so we have to open it up the cover is aside and this is an aluminium heatsink which cools our gpu so for removing this we need to remove this four screws and this is one try to open it up diagonally and here you can see the paste is completely dried up so due to this the heat from the gpu is not able to transfer to this heat sink so that is the reason our card is heating so much and uh, on our vrams the dust is accumulated so we'll try to clean up this card so that everything is neat and clean and tidy this, this is a blower design fan as you can see that's it now you can see lots of dust has been accumulated these are the pads thermal pads to keep our vram cool and we'll just try to clean up with this toothbrush here first i'll try to clean the card and be very gentle here because you should not damage any components I don't have any other heat sink, uh, sorry, I don't have any thermal pad additional, so I'll try to use the same. If you have a thermal pads, you can change this pads, not an issue.
properly so now we have cleaned it up and i am applying this cooler master master gel pro thermal paste on it so i have cleaned it clean the gpu you don't have to apply much but a sufficient quantity and i think this much is sufficient i'll just do it with my hands so the thermal paste has been applied and i am putting this heat sink on top of it before that i need to place this So friends we have applied the thermal paste clean the card and now we have installed the card in our machine now let's see how the temperatures are whether the card works or not we'll able to find it out i've started the games and the gpu temperature is just 50 degrees previously once the game starts the temperature were around 80 85 degree so there is a huge difference of 30 to 35 degree and let's see whether we can play the games or not because due to the high thermal temperatures the machine used to get shut down so now game has started and let's see whether we can play it or not i think the temperatures are pretty much under control and it will work fine hope so so just due to the thermal paste i'll continue the game It's forty-five, forty-six degrees right now. Yes. Yeah. And in fact. the temperatures are under control it's just 56 degree right now and previously there was a huge lag in the game and now it's working smoothly and that lag was due to high temperatures we are getting decent fps around 54 55 this is a full hd so previously it was not able to run properly so we were getting around 28 to 30 fps so this is what a temperature can do to your graphic card so the moral of the story if you are having a card which is pretty old which has dust accumulated in it and the thermal paste has been dried up the temperatures are rising high and your gpus are crashing down so just open them up carefully be very gentle and careful to your gpus because there are tons of tiny parts in them so make sure you don't damage them and clean them nicely apply a thermal paste reinstall it and done that's it that was the video about cleaning your card whether it's a reference card there is a huge problem with the reference card if you have a reference card or any other card just do this trick and get your gpu working again that was a simple video about how to clean your gpu and get it work again so if you like the video please give us a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe our channel hit the bell icon so that you can get the notifications about our upcoming video we'll try to bring such videos to you until next time goodbye